welcome back Your dreams were your ticket I Welcome back To that same old place that you laughed about Well, the names have all changed since you hung around But those dreams have remained and they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Back here where we need ya Back here where we need ya Yeah, we tease him a lot Cause we got him on the spot Welcome back Hello everybody and welcome back We are so happy to have you back at school and we especially want to welcome our third graders who are new to our main campus and any new Morris Brandon students who will be joining us for the very first time on February 8th. I'm Mr. Bland and these are your assistant principals, Miss Eggpair and Miss Small. Today we are going to walk you through some of the key mitigation strategies that we have put into place to ensure a safe return to school. Each morning as you arrive in carpool, you will pull all the way to the very end of the curb. Since we are not using safety patrol this year, we are asking that all of our students exit the vehicles on your own. Please make sure your car has pulled as far up as possible and is in park before you exit. Because we plan to have so many car riders, it's extremely important that all parents stay in their vehicles and that all students exit quickly and safely. Once you enter the courtyard, Students in grades three, four, and five will enter through their own individual grade level doors for your health screening and temp checks. Third grade will enter through the far left doors of the cafeteria and fifth grade through the fifth grade hallway. Fourth grade will also enter through the cafeteria. At each door, you will enter a single file line and wait patiently for your temperature to be checked while practicing social distancing to the greatest extent possible. We will have one staff member taking your touch-free temperature and another making sure your mask is on, hands are sanitized, and that you are ready to go to class. Once your temperature is checked, you are free to head straight to your teacher's classroom. Be sure to follow those directional arrows. Don't worry if you aren't quite sure where your homeroom class is. There will be adults all around to help you get to where you need to go. For students that need breakfast, your breakfast will be waiting for you in your classroom when you arrive. For our students who are riding the school bus, you will also have three separate grade level entrances in order to get into the building safely. Fourth graders will enter through the main lobby, third graders through the media center doors, and fifth graders through the fifth grade hallway ramp, all located at the front of the school. Remember to have your mask on properly, practice social distancing, staying six feet apart, and sanitize your hands as you enter. Backyard walkers will enter through the back gate and into the courtyard grade level entrances. Front entrance walkers will simply enter through their designated grade level doors. Thanks, Ms. Small. Now I want to begin covering the mitigation strategies that we'll be utilizing to help keep you, our students, safe during our return and learn. So let's take a look at what we have around the building that will soon become familiar to all of our students. All right, thanks Mr. Bland. One of the biggest changes you will see this year is that of wearing masks. Students and staff must wear a mask or face covering at all times in order to keep themselves and others safe. You may also have the option to wear a face shield if you would like but a face shield cannot replace a cloth mask. Did you or a friend forget a mask one day? Don't worry, we will have extra masks at school in case you forget, lose, or damage your mask during the day. Remember, a mask goes over your nose and your mouth. Not like this, but like this. As you enter your class for the first time, you may notice that your desks or tables are spaced out a little further than normal. That is to give you enough space to safely learn in your class. You may also notice desk shields on your desk. This is just another mitigation strategy that we are implementing to keep you and your classmates safe. After all, eating and drinking will all take place in the classroom. Please be careful of your desk shields 
and be sure not to break them. This school year, we have disabled all of our water fountains in favor of our new water bottle filling stations. It's important that all students bring a water bottle so you can have something to drink out of during the day. Water bottles can be filled in the water bottle filling stations or using sinks around the building. In the hallways and around the school, you will notice sanitizing stations. This is where you will get hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer will also be in your classroom, but should never be replaced by good hand washing. Let's hear more about hand washing from Ms. Edpair. Washing your hands with soap and water is a must, and it's so important to keep us germ free. Hand washing should take place at a minimum of three times a day, not including when you have just used the restroom. Your teacher has built in time during the day, so be sure you use it to wash your hands. How we move through the hallways and use the restroom will be different than last school year because it is important to keep everyone safe. In the hallways, you will notice arrows that indicate which side of the hallway to walk on and which direction to walk. As you move through the building, remember your mask should be on and you should be on the correct side of the hallway and always faced out to the greatest extent possible. You will also notice that some staircases will be used for going up and others will be used for going down. So be sure to notice the arrows so you use the correct staircase. If you are entering through the courtyard and are in third grade, you will go left and enter through the DLI classrooms or go up the stairwell to the top level. Fourth grade will go through the cafeteria and up to the main hallway and fifth graders will use the stairwell to go up or simply enter your classrooms on the bottom floor. Of course, bus riders may have a different route to class. Recess is super important for us and we want all of our students to enjoy 30 minutes of outside play every day when it's not raining. In order to keep all of our students and staff safe, the playground will be split into four recess zones. Your class will be assigned a different zone each day or even week. So pay careful attention to where each zone is and what zone your teacher told you to play in that day. While you may see some friends and other classes playing across the field, it's really important you stay with your class and in your zone each day during recess. Remember, you must keep your mask on during recess and maintain social distancing whenever possible. Need to take your mask off for a break? Just ask your teacher and they'll do so while you are social distancing. Dismissal will primarily take place in your classroom. Students will be dismissed one bus at a time and will always leave by bus through the main entrance doors in the lobby. Walkers and car riders will be dismissed from the classroom. Very soon, we will be implementing a new carpool app called Pick My Kid. All parents will download the app, sign in, and simply indicate that they are carpool when they reach the designated notification sign. Teachers will be able to see this immediately and will dismiss your child down to your vehicle. Aside from wearing a mask, it's also important that you bring these items each day to Morris Brandon. An APS digital device like a Chromebook or iPad, if you have one. Your teacher may have you store these in your classroom each night. If you don't have a device, don't worry, we'll be able to provide one for you or designate computers in our computer classroom to help support your virtual needs a headset or earbuds so others can't hear what you're working on, a water bottle for drinking water since water fountains are disabled, and a snack and a lunch if you're not eating the school food. As you can see, we are so excited to have you back with us in just a few short days. Together, we can have all of our students that choose return for in-person learning back four days a week. Remember, if you're ever not feeling well, be sure to let your parents know before you leave the house in the morning. If you don't feel well during the day, don't worry. Our nurses are here to take care of you and contact your parents for pickup if that is necessary. We can't wait to see you soon. Got him on the spot. Welcome back. Welcome back, brother.